Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use is item in queue action, which is a part of walk queue VVO. Let me show you how to use that. So let me take this start here and we'll take one action stage, double click on that, select walk queue VVO and then we'll select is item in queue let me search here so we have this is item in queue action and this action this is item in queue is used to check if given key exist in work queue or not so it will it will give us a list of item id and it will give us a, a boolean value like true or false the result if that specific i the key exist in queue so it will give us true if not it will give us false we have few parameters we need to pass here so in the queue name we'll pass the queue names which is coming from this environment data item now in key we need to pass key name we we can pass from here let me go to control click on this queue and these are the key names we have item key so these are the key so let's say you are going to search abc-129 is this item is this item key available in this work queue or not so you can check these things let me show you how to use that so here in key will currently i'm going to pass here hard coded value so i will write here abc-129 abc-129 so we are going to see this key exist in Q or not now where do you want to check that do you want to check in pending items do you want to check in the deferred items do you want to check in the completed or terminated items so if you want to check in all these so you can put here true that I want to check this item exist in pending deferred completed or terminated so you can see here now in the outputs we can store this in a result that will give us true or false now click ok and let me go here and let me link this here and link with one and stage here now it will check this item key exist in queue or not so here we can see this item exists in queue we are getting true result here now let me just modify here and let me just put here one nine and we know that this abc hyphen one nine does not exist in q because we have all these item key that is starts from one two now click ok and then run this again set next stage and now we are getting false because this specific item key not exist in queue so by this way you can check if a specific given item key present in queue or not now this one i have shown you using default value hard coded value but in the real time scenario you will just pass value which is coming from any data item so how can we take that so let's say while adding items to queue you have one collection of data in excel and you will read that data in a collection and before adding items to queue you will check that that these items available in queue or not so how can we do that so first we'll read excel data let me show you here so we have this excel file and i want to add these items to queue and we have these item keys because in the queue if i'll go to this system tab and then click on walk queue and then click on this queue and you can see here my key name is order number which is this one so first i need to read this complete excel file and then i can get all the order number as a key so i will take here get collection get excel as a collection so i have this page i can just use same here paste here and in this page what we have done we have used one action to create instance 
and then we'll open that workbook and then we'll read that excel data and we'll store in the collection and then we'll close the workbook so these things we are doing here in this get excel as a collection and now we'll store this data in a order underscore collection so we have this order underscore collection this we are going to use now once we'll pass through this we'll store all this data in the collection here and then we need to check one by one so how can we check one by one so we need to take here one loop so we have loop start and loop end and we'll link here and we'll take this thing here let me delete here from this and we'll link here now click on this loop start and select order collection which is this one and double click on this now instead of passing hard coded value we need to take it from our collection delete this and now we have this collection order collection and it will just accept only text data type so we'll take this order number copy this and collection dot order number so we'll paste this so in each loop it will take data from this one it will consider as a key and it will check here now in the output we have this result so let me go here and now we have result so what we'll do we'll take one decision stage that is just to check that that result is true or not if result is true it means data exist in that item key exist in queue if no that item doesn't exist in queue now double click on that item exists and we'll take here a result if result equals to true if true yes so we'll just go to this loop end and check other items now if no then we'll just take one note and we can say item is unique it means this item is not exist so what would you want to do you can add this data to a uh, a different collection and then you can add those data only to queue like that now link this link this if that item doesn't exist it will go here and then it will go to loop end and then it will complete this so right click set next stage run this so it will read this data excel data store to the collection and then it will loop through one by one so it will check the first item is available in queue or not so yes this is available because we are getting true so the first item that is the item key is one two two and we can check here from queue one two two so this item available in queue you can see this item available here also here also and this one also so this item available in queue now you can loop through one by one and you can see here this item available in queue now let's say i'm going to change here the other item uh, so let's say one change few items just to show you how it's working now the five item that is not exist in queue and the fifth number item is one two three four five the one two abc hyphen one two that doesn't exist in queue so we are going through this right so this item not available now this item available in queue so by this way we can check if that specific given item key exists in queue or not so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn UI Path RPA, then you can visit my YouTube channel youtubecom path rpa If you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy. So you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there. 
I will enter the, the referral code and the link in the video description. You can go through that. I hope you like that one. Thank you so much for watching this video.